Shalom Aleichem, we are back after about six weeks of a holiday respite. We now will do, we have to have a, <coughs> a little bit on every single Pasha we missed. So we're going to do five minutes on each of the six different, sub, seven different subjects. And then we'll get up to this week's Pasha, which is Sazria Matsura, a week after Pesach. Shalom Aleichem, everybody. I, we were busy from Purim to Pesach. We have to make up, we have to be at least on the Torah anytime. A little bit about the na- last five or six parshas. I'm going to speak five minutes on Kisiso, five minutes on Vayakal Bakude, five minutes on Vayikra, five minutes on Tzav. Then I'm going to talk about Pesach and Shir Shirim, five minutes. And then Sphira, uh, five minutes. Shmini last week, and then we'll do Sazir and so a little bit at length. Now, just five minute introduction to Kisiso. Five weeks ago, six weeks ago. Abayi Sai, let me tell you one thought on Kisiso. It says in the second uh, Pusik, when you pick up the Rosh B'nai Yisrael, meaning Kisiso, when you elevate them and count them, everyone gives a Chatsi Shekel. You, you collect the mil, um, three and a half. Well, um, there was people from 20 to 60 gave chatzis shekel. There were 600,000 of them. So 600,000 chatzis is 300,000 shekels. Comes out to a certain amount of money. It says in the big first passing, Vayitnu, they shall give. That word Vayitnu is a palindrome. You can read it backwards and forwards. It's called Vayitnu. It's a palindrome. I told you a few a year ago that uh, I know a man, a from man whose name is a palindrome. His name is Bernie Weinreb. Read backwards is Bernie Weinreb. There's palindromes in the Torah. Uh, on Shabbos and Musaf, you know when you say the bracha of Musaf after a Kelly Kodesh, uh, you start out with the uh, olive base backwards. Uh, look at those 22 words, I'll base back, we talk, start with the Toph, uh, then um, uh, Toph, uh, Tashchak, Toph Shin Reishkov, that's backwards. If you read the first le- words, the other way you get a, a sensible, a sensible a posse. So he seesaws about giving Tzedakah, Chatzis Shekel, by Yitnus a palindrome, when you give, you get back. Also, then that first positive he says, Ki Sisa es Rosh B'nei. If you take the Rosh Tevis of Sisa, which is 400, tough, right? Aleph, S, Aleph 1. Rosh is Resh 200. Bez is uh, 2. You get 603. That's exactly how many Jews there were. 603,000 of people that were counted between 20 and 60. 40 year range. Now we get to the Yakil Bakude, the Kude. A double sedra we had, and we're reading this week, that's a month later after that, and also a double sedra, Sazria Matsura. Vayakal Bakude, it talks about Betzalel, who built the Mishkan. Do you know that Betzalel was the son of Uri Ben Chur from Yehuda, which is Nachshon? Do you know all of these four people got married at the age of eight? Betzalel, Ben Uri, Ben Churi, and Ben Nachshon, all of them got married at the age of eight. When, um, Nashon got married at eight when he was sixteen. His son was born, Chur. When he uh, when he was when Chur was eight years old, Nashon was eight twenty four, and then when Uri was born, he was uh, uh, twenty four and eight. He was thirty two. When Basala was born, he was forty, and that's when he went, was one of the Miraglim at the age of forty, thirty nine or forty. When Basala was second year in the, in the, in the Mishkan and uh, building the base of English, the Mishkan. So, the Yakil Bakude is interesting. That's one interesting fact. Another thing, another interesting fact is they build a, a Mishkan, but it cannot build, be built on Shabbos. Avodas ha Mishkan is Dochi Shabbos. Binyan ha Mishkan is not Dochi Shabbos. How do you know that? Because in Shabbos you've got to keep the 39 uh, Av Malachas. From the beginning of Vaya, the beginning of the Pasuk of Vayakel to you get to Shabbos is 39 words. And Shabbos is the fortieth. So by Yakel, from the very beginning, it talks about you know, building a Mishkan, but keep Shabbos, which means you can't build it on Shabbos. So from the beginning to the word Shabbos, you got thirty-nine words, 
and Shabbos is the 40th, which means you can't do any of 39 on Shabbos. And Bekudai, I told you about, but Solomon, Uri, Ben Chur, Demate, Yehuda, which is Nashon, they all got married at 8 years old. Now we get to Vayikra. Let's go to Vayikra. Vayikra is uh, one of the settlers, you know. Aaron's name is not mentioned in Vayikra. Do you know why? Vayikra. Oh, wait, we missed that one. We're going to show you with the camera of Vayikra. Um, uh, Aaron's name is not mentioned because Hashem said he was very angry with Aaron that he had made the Egel. So Moshe prayed to Hashem, please, don't destroy Cloud Israel. And he prayed that the Cloud Israel will not be destroyed. So Hashem said, okay, he who were the perpetrators, I will destroy. So Aaron was one of the people that made the Egel. So Hashem didn't destroy him. Answer is, he was forced. When you're forced to eat chazer, it's not your fault. If you're forced to eat on Yom Kippur or eat chamas on Pesach, you don't get killed for that. So then you're forced. Ah, you got to give your life for that. It's one of the three things you give your life for. I know, but Aaron said, I don't want to make an eagle. I just want to take the earrings from the women. And the women will not give it. They didn't. So the men gave their earrings. And he threw it in. He figured by the morning he'll figure it, he'll carve it out. Moshe will be back. But it came through in the gold. came out a ready-made calf. So Hashem was furious. He should have given up his life. So Moshe was mispal. Hashem should not destroy all the Jewish people because he wanted to make for Moshe Rabbeinu a new Abu Mavinu. So he said, okay, I won't destroy Klai. So I only the perpetrated. So he destroyed Aaron's two children. Because Tefillah also maxed it. Tefillah does 50%. So two of the four died. So Aaron's name is not Vayikra. So Moshe said to Hashem, please, why don't you use olive wood on his bear or grapevine wood? Oh, because you use olives in the grapes for the Avodah, grapes for, uh, for wine, and olives for the menorah. It's not right to destroy the parent plant because you get the benefit from the children. So he says, why do you destroy Aaron? You're ruining the children. So he says, okay. He took him. He uh, took him out of a yikro, which is the main center, the center of Ka, of, Ka, of Kohanim and Kabbalas, and he's the Kohen Gadol. I put him back in Sab. In Sab, he the second word. In Sab is Aaron. You know that Moshe's name is also not mentioned someplace. I took after the Sab is Bnei Yisrael because Moshe said Mechani Nomer Sifra Chashikos Softo. After the Sab, it happened to be the the Sifra Chos Sefer Twenty. And this is the, the after the Tetzava, it's not, uh, don't worry, we're not going to, we're not talking about Tetzava. The Tetzava is, um, as I said, the 20 Sefer from Beratius. Mesifra Chot, Sefer Chot. Moshe's name is not mentioned there. And so is uh, in, Ru, in Esther, Hashem is not named and mentioned Esther, because uh, Purim, we just learned that. Uh, they sent the, the Megillah to uh, all the gun countries, and they would take out Hashem's name, put it in their God's name, because they all hated Haman. So they didn't put in Hashem's name at all, but it's in code form. It's called Hamelech. And in Shir Shirim, we read Hashem's name is out there. It's called Shlomo. Because the fools of the world will think that uh, Shir Shirim is a love song. So he left it out. All right, that takes care of that. Now we get to um, Tzav. Now we get to Tzav. Now we get to Tzav. We can finish by Yikra, and uh, why Aaron's name is not there. Now you get to Tzav, and Tzav has 96 Pesukim. Because 96 is Tzav. Tzav is 96. And 96 has 96 Pesukim. Yeah, you say, you say, yeah, so, 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 so. Ah, Rabbi Isai, this is the Sedra of the Torah where Pesukim are divided. The entire Torah has division in Tzav. And one of the Pesukim, that's the middle of the Torah, Chatziah Torah B'Pesukim. That's right, in Tzav. And, um... Mm-hmm. Uh, interesting. All right, so, that's the middle of the Torah B'Pesukim. And you know, the Torah has a middle in letters, that's this week's parasha, Shemini. And it has a middle in osios, in letters and in words. Even in Aleph Bezos, 22 is a middle. Understand? Uh, uh, 22 is even number. There's 54 parishes. Sazriya Matsura is the middle. Everything has a middle. So, let's go now to... I want to tell you a little bit about Pesach. Pesach, I, want, I can't... How can I tell you in five minutes about Pesach? No, there's no sign Pesach. Um, I want to tell you about Pesach. You know, my father's Asal said, at the Seder night, there's the four conscious. 
And uh, he says they have created in America a new mitzvah. It used to be Vigadotol Avinicho. Now it's Vigadotol Avicho. They come with these settles and read this whole stuff they got in the cheder and the yeshiva and they make long drushes and you, can't, you gotta finish at 4 o'clock in the morning. So it has to be a monologue. He got told me to means you tell the story. And during the meal you discuss that they can answer their questions and give them a, and they can ask, ask during the, uh, the, the say or anything they want, you give a short little answer. But long speeches you cannot have because you must eat Dr. Coleman before Midnight. This year it was 1.02 a.m. You must have the Torah. I've become eaten before 1.02. Some say you, you're not Yotzin Matzah if you don't eat the Mafikoman before 1.02. Because the Rashbam holds you're not Yotzin the first Matzah. Not even in the Korech. Only in the Afikoman. Because the Afikoman was eaten at, eaten at the end. Like the Korban Pesach was eaten, eaten at the end. So you're only Yotzin Matzah when you get to Afikoman. So you've got to be very Matzah to eat Afikoman before Chatzos. So anyhow. So how can you... Have the children give you these long drushes with these booklets and pamphlets. So a new mitzvah has been created. We got to do Better cut that down. And uh, let's talk one minute about Shir Shirim. Shir Shirim has a big shin in the beginning, first shin. Because Shin is Shlosha. Shlomo, who wrote Shir Shirim, wrote three books. Shir Shirim, Mishle Kohelis. Also, Shir, Hashirim, Ashir, Shlomo, Yishakanim, and Shikos, six words with the shin in it. It's uh, onomatopoeia. You know what that is in English uh, literature? It sounds the same. Why six times shin? Six shin is 300. Six times 300 is 1800. Uh, six times uh, 300 is 1800. Uh, eight, one is nine. Nine is emes. Olive mem tov is emes. One, four, four. Everything in Shir Shirim is Kodesh Kedoshim. All the other Shirim are Kodesh. And Shir Shirim is Kodesh Kedoshim. You know why? All the other shirim, like Oz Yashir and Hazinu and Shiraz Devora and uh, Shiraz David, and, and there is always a monologue. Either Hashem speaks to you or you speak to Him. Shir Shirim is a dialogue. Hashem speaks to Kali Yisrael, we speak to Him. That's why it's Kodesh Kedosh. So that's another, that's a word on Shir Shirim. Now we go to Sphira. There's no one the, here. Sphira is, tell you one minute thing on Sphira. You know that we count the Omer. Do you know that I am Mem Reish is 49? Reish is 200. Ha! How can it be 49? Listen to this chap. Not mine. Ayin is the 16th letter in the placement of the Aleph Bay's letters from Aleph to Tov. Ayin is 16, Mem is 13, that's 29. Reish is 20, a letter of the 22 letters. No, 29 and 20 is 49. There you have it. Omer is 49. All right, now let's go to Shmini. We have to go to Shmini. Uh, that was last week's parasha. Shmini. Tell you a five-minute word on Shmini. Do you know that Shmini uh, is, means eight? Do you know that last year in Eretz Yisrael, oh, not in Eretz Yisrael, all over the world last year we read Shmini eight times. This year we read it five times. That means Monday, Thursday, and, and Shabbos and Mincha, Two weeks, three weeks ago, Shabbat Mincha two weeks ago, and then the, the Monday and Thursday, Monday and Thursday, and then this week, Monday and Thursday, and then the, the, yeah, here, um, the last week, we read it uh, five times. Eretz Yisrael, last year, Tavshin Ayin Beis, they read it Shmini, Shmona time. You know what it says in the Swarm? If you read Shmini, Shmona time, you have a land that's Shmeno, very fertile with a lot of water. Didn't it rain last year, more than the last 25 years? After the late Shmini last year, Shmini was written, written Shmona time. Look back, it was read eight times. This year was five times. Look in the calendar. Uh, if you have Shmini, read Shmona, you get a Shmona year. And we know it rained tremendous last winter, more than, who knows, last 25 years. That's the thing. Now we get to Sazria Mitzorah. Sazria Mitzorah is this week's Sedra coming up. So when you see on your uh, Torah anytime, I'm going to put down Kisiso, Vayakob Akude, Vayikro, Sam. Pesach, Shir Shirim, Sphero, Shemini. <laughs> and now we get to Sazria Mitzorah. We're up to date finally. Sazria Mitzorah is a double parasha. It has a lot of sukkah. You know what it's about. Isha ki Sazria Vyolda Zocha. A woman who gives, gets pregnant and has a Zocha. She's told me 14 days. If she has a uh, Nekeva, she's, um, no, 7 days. Have the Nekeva, it's 14 days. And then she can't bring Carbonas. For a 33 day plus some uh, uh, seven, which is 40 day, and then for a female it's uh, 66 days plus uh, 14 is 80 days. 
Why is a woman twice as... That's, we did that way back. <laughs> okay, why is a woman um, twice as long time, 80 days, for a female as for a male, 40 days? You know why? Because a woman is having a new female child that has to go through the same disorders that she's going through. She feels sorry for her. That's a simple reason. The second reason, that if you're a life bearer, and you lose that life, the, life, the child comes out, you have a certain la uh, depth of darkness because you are, you're alive and you carry the live child. You have a certain tumor because you carry the life, you are a life per uh, creator. When you, the life leaves you, you're tummy. Like a person who's Valkyrie, you could have had children with that. He's tummy. Uh, Anita, she's tummy. Um, a person touches a mace, you're tummy because that person was alive. Whenever you see and feel a lack of life, you're affected. It's good. Metami, you. Hirsch says, Tome means opaque. You don't see the rays of Hashem. You see that every man has to die in the end. There's nothing to end, nothing. Every, a dog dies, and a Russian dies, and a Tzadik dies. You, there's no future. You get depressed. That's called Tuma. Tuma means the, it's opaque. And Tahara is translucent. You are in a higher state. You are aware of God's life. Like, because this one, even though you die in this world, so what? This is only preparation for the next world. By living here 80 years, you can have 5 million years over there in Olam Haba. Like the Chavaz Chaim asked my father in 1929, Nu vu vest design in Finfjord Arum. Where are you going to be in five years from now? You don't answer questions like that. Ooh, ah, he couldn't hear. He says, huh? Ah, what do you say? No one dare answer. A lot of people around him. Who was designed him for secure? Where are you going to be in 50 years? Hmm? Who was designed in 500 years? Where are you going to be in 500 years? Who was designed, where will you be in 5,000 years? 5,000 years. Who was designed in 5 million? He meant million. He says, always the same place. Mit der Eberste. You were there before you were born for eternity. And the Shama was a part of Hashem. It's a chelik and a kimmi mild. And the Shama is a part of God because it's eternal like Hashem is. And after you die, you'll be back with Him. So you come here for recess 15 minutes or 80 years. That's a break. 15 minutes, 20 minutes recess in this world. This is only temporary. Otherwise, life doesn't make any sense. It's highly unfair, right? If you don't understand, there's reward and punishment, and there's an olam haba to come. Otherwise, it's a joke. Why can't I grab and take what I can take? Call the olam kavai, whatever is more powerful, grab it. Like in the jungle. Like in the world of criminals. What do you mean, right or wrong? I can't do this. I shouldn't do this. I can't. Oh, I'm going to be punished. Oh, because you're a human being. You're not a horse, or a cow, or an eagle, or a sheep, or a goat. Because you have a neshama. You're here just to work out in the, in the gym to see if you can strengthen your spiritual muscles. And if you're very well prepared, you're going to make it for that long trip. So, a woman gives birth, and that's the first eight pesukim of the double set of Sazir Matsura, which has 116 pesukim. If you take away the eight pesukim from 116, you get 108. If you take away the eight pesukim, which talks about giving childbirth, the rest is about Russian horror. All about Russian horror. The punishment for Russian horror, the punishment, the sarasma in your skin. You know that 108 is Gehenna? Exactly, exactly the same Kamachia. Do you know you go to Gehenna for Russian horror? Not even speaking once. If you're about Russian horror, you always talk Russian horror. You, you cut down people, even if you say the MS. If you say, you know, that man was in jail 20 years ago, that's MS. Maybe it's Emmett. So that's Lashon Horror. If you say that man was in jail 18, 20 years ago, it's not Emmett. It's called Moshe Semra. It's a different, different type of uh, Lashon It's not true. And then there's a third type. It's called Rechilas. That woman has 100 pairs of shoes. That man has five cars. Eventually, eventually, you'll get around to somebody who'll say, yeah, 100 pairs of shoes. Why doesn't she pay full tuition? Let me give you an example. That man has three cars. How come he doesn't give much to Daka? Only a few bucks. Your Rechilas cause it, it's neutral, Rechilas, but not bad to say, nor that he does. The Gemara says, you know, that house they cook all the time. Well, you can say they're gluttons. Or they're doing tzedakah for poor people, making food and giving it away. Depends how you look at the problem. So if you talk Lashon Hara, that's what Sazim and so is about, you get Sarat because of that, you are going to go to Gehenna. 
because 116 pesukim besides the first eight about your letters of giving birth is one away. And Gehenim is one away. And it's all about this one subject. Now I have a bumper kasha. The whole said uh, besides the first eight pesukim, Sazria, uh, about Tsaras, and Mitzorah had to cure yourself in Tsaras, and had to bring a carbon after the Tsaras went away. I have a bumper kasha. If it's all about Lashon Hara, why isn't there one word anywhere where about that this Avera comes because of Lashon Hara? Why not one word? Why? Not one word. And the second bomb of If it's so terrible, as the Chavon Chaim says in the Sefer, Shemir Salashem, it's worse than the three cardinal sins together. Lashon Hara is worse. So if it's worse, why isn't it Yehari Val Yavar also? That chapter itself, the guy said, I want you to be killed, or I'll kill you. Why, do you. why don't you let yourself be killed? You don't have to. Only for Gilarai, Shechem Domen, Avod Azorah. How come if it's so terrible? It's not one of Yehari Gimel Chamuros. The guy says, have a relationship with this married Jewish woman. You have to die for it. Kill Gilarai, Shechem Domen, kill this Jewish man. Uh, about Zorah, bow down to this idol. You gotta die for this. So it says that Lashon is worse than the three. So why don't you let me kill? Answer. Because you only have to, you hardly call Yabra if you do a mice like Gilarai and Shvichas Dom, and for the Zorah. Here you're just talking, that's not a mice. But it's so bad. The whole body breaks out with Saras. There's not a, another crime that you, should, you see on your body. Not Gilarai, not Shvichodom, not Avodah Zorah. Lashonar on your body. Wow. Hashem is labeling you as a social outcast. He doesn't want you. He makes you look funny with Saras. Your hair falls out, the skin turns color. It's such a bad of a, a, a sin. You don't have to let yourself be killed because it's not a mice and verbal, verbal words are not mice and you never have to let yourself be killed for a thing that's not a miser. So there's one exception. The Megadev, the blasphemer of God's name. Just words, but they stoned him to death. That's the exception. Megadev, the blasphemer, as Moshe killed this man in the Midbar, because he's blasphemed God's name. Uh, that's the exception. Now they were saying, but miser, you don't have to let yourself be killed. Now let me ask, answer the first bomb, Bakashi of Sazri and Matsoda. Why isn't there anywhere one word that all this two senders come because of Lush and Hara? Not a word of Lush and Hara. Answer is, it is a hint there. Isha ki sazria, she has pain. You know why? Because God's first chamo, because she listened to Lush and Hara of the Nachar. She said, no, you can be like God, just eat from that fruit there. She listened. And Hashem came down because of this, you're going to have tsar laid, or you're going to have terrible pain when you give birth. That means, because of Lashon Hara, though, that eight Pesukim introduction is really the remez for Lashon Hara. That's why she had Tsar. Most women, 99%, have Tsar at giving birth because that's what the curse of Chava. Because she listened to the, the first Baal Lashon Hara, the Nachash. So there's the remez to that. This is such a complicated sedra, Sazri and Matsura. I took the whole sedra and wrote up major concepts. Look. Three, four, five, six. Very complicated. You want to know a lot about it? Tune in to call Halashon every day. I got 2,440. Sure. Him. It just happened to be today I'm up to 2,440. And the telephone number is 2,440. You know that? 718-395-2440. Isn't it interesting? 2440. That's a that telephone number of Kola Lotion. 718-395-2440. Okay. So you want to hear about the Tazir Mitzorah? Tune in to Kola Lotion every day, 24 hours a day. Anytime. And I do one Aliyah a day. You know what, Avoisai? I think that's enough for tonight. We'll try to get back to you maybe again this week. More on Tazir Mitzorah. Zai Gesund. We will not take such a long hiatus anymore like last time. And if you have any questions, you can call me on what I said in the last half an hour on 
four, seven, eight, nine. Zeigt ihr so?